Okay, okay, okay. Right. The Sense for a Live customization stream was absolutely amazing. It showed off all the features that we were curious about and returning features that everyone wanted to see. For example, layered clothing is actually back. I mean, I know they I said this, but I've shown it off and it looks absolutely amazing and it's something we haven't seen since Saints Row 2 alongside crib, crib customization, which we haven't seen since Saints Row 2. I was briefly in Saints Row 3, but it was completely nothing like this, the original not the predecessor um and i'm i know this is analysis but it's not as in detail it goes just i'm just gonna go around all the key things i picked up from the well, when i watched it so um i want to talk about how um how good the actual player customization is for example symmetrical faces you can change like one side of a face and all that. like you can have an anti-symmetric face or a symmetric face it doesn't matter whoever whatever you want basically and they went in detail on the hair this time like giving us like it seemed to put a lot more effort in with um clothing which i love to see and, and I'm so happy because that's what Saints Row 2 was. That's what we loved about Saints Row 2's customization. Quiv customization. We didn't really see much of it. it, it I mean, I'm, I'm not being ungrateful. Maybe they're not teasing it for us, you know, because like I like Quiv customization because I found it pretty cool when, when I played Saints Row 2 for the first time. I was disappointed because Saints Row 3 barely had any and Saints Row 4 didn't have any quibs to stay in. So hopefully, Quiv customization um, is as good as Saints Row 2, if not better. Wait a minute. Is that Walt and Jesse? Walt and Jesse, right there. Are you telling me I can dress up my gun as Heisenberg and Jesse, yo? Um, that is sick. Yo, 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 one, four, eight, three to the three to the six to the nine, representing the ABQ. What up, biatch? Leave it at the tone. Got Shrek, um, that was Shrek reference, which was pretty cool. And, um, I don't know what we need to do with that, except for we can make a pretty accurate Shrek, which is quite cool. On this picture here, um, this this rocket launcher, um, it's a guitar, a, a guitar case, which is a reference to a film, I think, or I believe. And if you look in closer on on the actual um, guitar g guitar case, it has stickers on it, and one of them is Ganky from Saints Row Three, but it's also a Johnny Gathead from Saints Row Three, like for the, for the mascot costume, which I think is pretty cool. Like, that we're getting references to old characters as well. Like, just the lore of the original games is still there, which I like to see. Maybe we'll get more throughout the game, and I don't want to spoil it for us. Vehicle customization looks very good. Uh, pimping out cars that uh, just looks better than ever. Um, for example, we can change like a shit car to like a, a fucking low rider. It's like the ah, oh, it's better than it's like sense They took sense four's ideas and um, like for customization and like made it even better because since we're four you didn't really need a car so you wouldn't really know but it was the customization in that game is actually very good and i feel like they improved upon it even more this game and because we've we're good we're going to be needing cars because there are superpowers in this game it's going to be even better alongside weapon customization where we have decals we could change like the camo we can have like these little make these little details and make we can customize nina kevin and eli and um, from the screenshot, if you look closely, you can see someone standing behind Eli. They didn't think we would notice, did they? But we did, because we we are um, the theorists and we don't like analyse stuff because we've got big brains in it. But, but there has been a fifth character tease, and I think a name Diamond. I think the character's name is Diamond. I'm not sure, but maybe more to be teased soon. We're also going to be getting a demo for character customization, like Saints Row 4, I think, and Saints Row 3 had it as well. And we can upload characters um, for the, to um, get ready for the game like when it comes out, so we have the characters ready. And we also um, can um, upload characters to the community again, so would my, my still port make, be making a return, or my Santa Leto, um, we don't know, but we'll just have to see. And I think that's it for this video. Um, so rather than go into too much detail, um, I just found out all the key details that were interesting. Um, you know, there's some references as well to previous games, like Saints Row 3 with the game members, like how you customise them. And it's just pretty cool. I like that a lot. So thank you for watching and goodbye.